Hey everyone, this is Alfred from The Prompted and let's grow your Shopify store. So we like to learn from the best e-commerce brands. We'll grab strategies and tactics that are working well for them and we show you how you can use them too. And we've got another really great feature today that will help your customers find your products. So let's take a look at Holosocks again. You can see that their drawer menu is very visual, which helps us easily navigate their site and quickly find the right products. And this is a clear upgrade from the default menu that Shopify gives us. So in this video, we're going to show you our version of this drawer menu. We're going to show you the features and settings so you know how to use it. And then we're going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how you can add it to your store. For the installation part, we'll be using some code, but don't worry, it's just copy and paste. So when you're done watching this video, just follow the link in the description to subscribe to our free newsletter, and then we'll send that code over to you. On top of that, with our free newsletter, we'll be sharing daily insights that will help you scale your Shopify store. So check it out. But all right, let's take a look at the new drawer menu, a visual drawer menu. Okay, so we're in the theme editor of our demo store, and you can see here that we've got our new drawer menu, right? It's got our very visual components is the images that show you what can be inside of these different collections or links that you added here. And we also have some additional links down here for anything that doesn't have an image associated with it. So um, in my opinion, this is a way better drawer menu because we now have this visual component. Now the default Shopify drawer menu is a little bit different. So let's take a look at how we can actually set this. So I'm in the theme editor. Uh, and if you go to the theme settings down here, scroll to the very bottom, we've got this custom header drawer menu. Now this is something that we've added in ourselves. This is custom made. Um, so stick around by the end of this video, I'll show you how you can add this to your store too. Um, but here we actually have some settings on how to control what the drawer menu looks like. Now, the first one is just a master switch. Now, if I uncheck that, we're just going to get our default uh, Shopify drawer menu, right? It doesn't have any images, uh, doesn't look all that great. And so what we've done here is we've said, okay, we want to use our custom menu and that's how we activate it. Now, the second option here is um, a, a menu selection. Now. By default, um, your drawer menus are typically going to be set if you uh, buy the the setting in your uh, in your your menu your your header. So you come to the header uh, section, and you can see here there's this menu set, um, and this is what uh, this is what you would normally see if let's say if we go to our desktop. You see shop all, clothing, shoes, contact, blog, etc. But if we come to our mobile here, we actually have a different set of links. And that's because what we've done here is we've allowed you to select a different drawer menu. Um, because if we're showing it as images, maybe the links that you want to show want are going to be a little bit different. So this gives you the flexibility to use the same menu if you want. So we can actually just use the, the main menu, which is the default one. But because the images associated with that are maybe not as good or, or you know, you don't have as, any, as many images or maybe it's just not the way you want to navigate on the drawer menu, then you can create a custom menu just for your drawer. And so that's what this is for. So let's just call back to this one. So we've given you the option to select the menu. Okay, next you have the drawer menu collection image type. So Right now, this is pulling from the featured image, right? But um, not all uh, links that you might put into your drawer menu might have a featured image. So you also have the option to use a meta field. And so I'll show you how to add those meta fields in later and in the installation portion. But for now, we can see if we go to any one of these collections, so you go to sweatpants, we've got our featured image, which is what's being shown right here. But we could also add an image in the meta field. And so why don't we change our setting there to meta field. And now you can see we've got a different set of images being shown that are set by the meta field. And so now you can uh, have a little bit more control over the images that are shown. And if you have other object types that you want to add into your 
your menu, then you can create a meta field for that and get an image for it. So we'll get into that a little bit later during the installation process, but you have these two options here. And then finally, you can adjust the title font size. So that's the text here. So we can make it bigger or smaller. All right, you got some larger text. Um, and then you can also change the text color uh, and the background color. So um, let's do that right now. So we can maybe make this, you know, any, just a random color here. Uh, you can change this to match your theme. Um, so you have a lot of flexibility with how it looks. This <laughs> looks kind of ugly, but it's just to highlight you have that flexibility to change the colors around. Okay, so those are our settings, and this is our drawer menu. Now, keep in mind, this is for the drawer menu only, which means on desktop, um, you're typically not going to have a drawer menu unless you decide in your, uh, in your theme settings. So you go to header, and then you go to your header section. You can change the desktop menu type to drop down, mega menu, or drawer. So if you have, you set it to drawer here, then you get that option. Otherwise, if you're using mega menu or drop down menu, then um, the customization that we're sharing in this video is not going to apply. However, we find that most e-commerce brands have the majority of the traffic through mobile these days. And so we are trying to optimize for the mobile experience. And so our drawer menu here can really help with that because um, you get those visual components on your mobile. Okay, so that's the tour of the customization. Let's now add it to your store. Okay, so now we're in our Shopify admin area and we've just installed a fresh new version of Dawn. It's the latest one at the time of recording, so 15.2.0, and we're going to make our changes on this version of the theme. Now to install this customization, we have to first create some meta fields, and then we have to edit some code. Now for the code portion, don't worry, it's just copy and paste. We'll give it all to you. All we ask is for you to sign up for our free newsletter um, and then we'll send that over to you. Um, our free newsletter is really great. We share actionable insights to help grow your Shopify store. Um, there's a lot of great info in there, so check it out. Um, we'll have something for you every single day. Okay, so let's start with creating the meta fields. So we'll go to settings, custom data, and then we're going to start with a collection meta field. And in here, you can add definition. And in here, we can give it a name uh, and then select the type. Now, I've already created the meta field here. So let's just open this up and take a look at the settings. And so we've called this header menu image. And you're going to get the namespace and key header menu image. So make sure that the namespace and key is exactly as it shows here because the code is going to be looking for it. Uh, next, your file type, uh, your type is going to be file. It's going to be one file and it's going to accept both images and videos. Okay, so um, now that we've done that, we can head back out and you can actually repeat that exact same process. So the exact same uh, name, header menu image and, and type. So file, one file, images and video for any one of these um, object types as well that you may want to add to your menu. So I'm not going to go through the process again, but you essentially can do the same thing, right? So for products, you can add definition, header menu image, etc. So, um, and once you've done that, then you can actually go back out and go to your, uh, to your navigation, sorry. And so we've created this images menu navigation. And so now you can put any type of uh, menu item in here. So we've got a bunch of collections, but if you wanted to put, uh, say, a product in there, then you can actually use the product meta field to set the image that's going to show up on your menu. Okay, so now that you've created the meta field, we can head back to the themes area, and now we can edit some code. So um, the first step is going to be to duplicate your theme. Now I've already got 20 themes, so that's the maximum, so I can't actually duplicate, it's maxed out. Uh, but 
if so if you're seeing that you can just download a theme um, download an old theme that you're no longer using then you can remove it from your store like that and then you can duplicate and you're going to want to duplicate because if anything goes wrong with the installation process then you can easily revert back to your old version without having to figure out how to backtrack okay so let's edit code now okay and the first step is going to be settings schema.json and we're going to uh, scroll to the very bottom we're going to see this cart uh, option here right so you can actually highlight the uh, the curly bracket there you're going to see it comes right pretty much to the bottom um, so we're going to add a comma right there and we're going to paste our code right there and we'll save and so what we've done here is we've just added some new settings into our uh, into our theme. So um, let's actually customize theme. And so what we've done here is we actually just created this drop down menu here, adding these settings. Um, prior to saving, then this this menu actually did not exist. Uh, but we can't actually use these yet, even though it shows up. They don't do anything because we have to add some additional code. So let's do that now. All right, so the next file we're going to be changing is going to be the editor.liquid file. And in here, we can scroll down and we're going to see um, these lines right here. So if section.settings.menu does not equal blank, then render header dash drawer end if. So it's around 123 to 126 um, on the uh, this version of Dawn. And what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be replacing this portion of the code with this one right here. And so what we're doing here is we're saying if the um, if we've set this menu, right? So if we've enabled the custom drawer menu, then we're actually going to be using a different drawer menu. So that's what that code is saying right there. And now we actually have to create our new drawer menu. And that's what this new snippet's going to be. So we're going to add a new snippet. It's going to be called uh, header drawer uh, custom dot liquid. We'll create that file and we're going to copy and paste our code into there and save. And that's essentially it. So now we can just come back to our theme editor. We'll refresh again. Okay. And now if we scroll down, we can uh, well, first we can see that we have our uh, default Shopify drawer menu. And if we check this box, now we can see we've got some images. Um, so in order for this to work, we have to make sure that we set images either in the meta field or in the featured image. So we have set here that we're looking at the featured images. So that's this image right here, right? So this is the featured image of a collection. And that's what it's being pulled right here. Now, um, if we use the meta field, then it's going to be looking for the meta field in that case. Uh, in this case, these collections do not have a meta field set, so it doesn't actually work. Um, so what we can do though, is we can actually select a custom menu. So we've created a custom menu just for these images, right? So I mentioned this earlier, and in order to do that, you can just go to navigation, uh, and you can add a menu, right? And so now you can create your own. And so that's what we've done. We've created our own images menu with the collections that we actually want to show in our drawer. And there we go. And so we have collections with images set. We have some collections and other links that do not have images. And those are gonna show up underneath. Um, as we showed before, if we go to the featured image, then you're going to see here we've got even more images showing up because more of these collections have a featured image uh, associated with it. So let's say, for example, we go to products, um, collections, and then let's say socks. All right. So with the socks, we have a featured image, but we do not have a meta field image. And so that's why um, it shows up as an image in the featured version, but when we go to meta field, it actually gets placed underneath here as just an additional link. 
Uh, and just, so that's how that works. Um, we already went through all these settings earlier, so we're not gonna go through every single one of them again. Okay, so we showed you how our new drawer menu works. We showed you how you can add it to your store. So if you want to add this customization or any of the other customizations that we share on this channel, all you have to do is join our free newsletter and we'll send that over to you. But that's it for today. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.